The Nathan S. Beanstalk Scholarship, endowed by Richard Liebner and Carol Cooper Family Foundation. The winner is Amari Sablon, who self-funded a trip to Haiti to cover the aftermath of a hurricane. He's a broadcaster and will go with the Ground Truth Project to his native Cuba. Presenting on behalf of Beanstalk is Richard Liebner, whose family foundation endowed this award. Nate Beanstalk knew every print journalist who covered World War II, and he changed my life when he and my father and I formed Beanstalk 53 years ago to represent electronic journalists. One of the first people he introduced me to, and we can't forget him, he was one of the gentlemen of all time, was Roy Rowan. I prepared his income taxes for 36 years personally. <laughs> Amari tells an interesting story about, as a little boy in Cuba, how he would use a water bottle as a microphone. And it reminds me of the first thing that brought news into my mind and was an interest. On Channel 11 in New York, after Joel Bolton's cartoon show, Sheriff Joel Bolton, a weather vane came on the air. And the directions of the weather vane flew off of it. And I don't know anybody, how many people realize it, but northeast, west, south became the word news. And that was my first interest in the business. Amari, look forward to your great future in broadcasting. Thank you. So I grew up in a small town in Cuba that had more cows than people. And that was interesting because you think that we'll be eating a lot of beef, right? But no, because cows are illegal in Cuba. Uh, beef is illegal in Cuba. Uh, it still is, it was, and still is. And I was always questioning that. I would be asking my mom, man. You know, it was those type of questions, uh, me questioning the, the policies from the government uh, from a very early age that started scaring my mom. She thought I was going to get us arrested. Like at school, she had to like be like, hey, like don't, you know, if he has anything, just let me know. Uh, and I started showing the tendencies of wanting to be a journalist before I truly understood journalism. Uh, I really didn't have any journalists to look up to. I actually never met a journalist in person while in Cuba. The only ones that I saw uh, were from TV, when we smuggled content from Miami, from Univision and Telemundo networks. For me, that was more exciting than watching a kid's movies. I mean, getting to see the news and getting to see what was happening outside of Cuba, outside those four walls where we're boxed, it was uh, fascinating. I moved to the United States in 2007, that was nine years ago, and suddenly becoming a journalist began to seem something that I could do, more doable. It wasn't just a dream in my mind anymore, it's impossible. Um, in Cuba, where the media is controlled by, by, by the government, the press or not for press, definitely couldn't do it there. I was and I am constantly inspired by, by my upbringing to become a foreign correspondent. I live in a country um, where, again, we had to smuggle illegal, con illegal content to get information. I went to Haiti uh, last year, and that's where uh, the, that's the, that was the topic of my essay. And I went after Hurricane Matthew, and I went to the south, Rocha Batu, and Kotu. I funded a trip, and I was like, I have to shine a light on these situations because I heard that people in the south were not getting any help from nonprofits. I talked to the former first lady, and indeed, people were fighting for water. Um, I want to shine a light on people in situations like this, situations like mine, people that are living in the shadows. I'm constantly inspired to bring truth and information to those I needed the most. I'm inspired by my mom, a single mom who brought me to this country just so I could have a better life, who gave up her own life, her culture, her language, her family, just for me to be here right now. I'm inspired to become a foreign correspondent, to show little kids, little kids just like 11-year-old me back then, whether it's in Cuba or anywhere, that life is crazy, that sometimes if you dream hard enough and work relentlessly, you can also be here in front of hundreds of people and achieving what once seemed impossible. Thank you. <laughs> 